What is good, everybody? We are just days away from WWE World at WrestleMania 40 coming up very soon, man. This coming Thursday. I am posting this video on Saturday before the coming week. That is going to be WrestleMania week. We're going to be there at the Superstore, which is, of course, WWE World at WrestleMania 40 in Philadelphia, man. If you guys are going out there, definitely let me know down in the comment section below. Can't wait to see all you guys out there to cover all the figures and everything like that, man. But today, we're going to be diving into my official predictions for WWE world and what the reveals what i expect to see at this show what i expect to be revealed what i expect out of the entire experience there man and i think that you know last year we had so much revealed to us and i think it was a little bit bonus because you know we did get to go to the mattel design center there was added stuff there i don't think they're gonna have a shish ton of prototypes out there right i don't think they're gonna have you know as much as last year i think last year was kind of not necessarily i don't like the word fluke in that in that sense of the word there but i do think that that was kind of a one-off in the terms of how much we got. I do think they're going to show off quite a bit. I do think that it's going to be Comic-Con level or Comic-Con-esque in that way, but I don't think it's going to be to the point where we see so much teasers or so many prototypes on display like we saw last year because we actually got to go to where they create the figures or where they design the figures at the Design Center in Los Angeles. So I don't expect that, but I do expect quite a bit, man, and I'm actually quite intrigued to get into it with you, man. And let's just go ahead and dive into it. I'm not going to predict basics and battle packs or championship showdown packs because I do expect them to have a few waves there. Uh, maybe Maybe a CM Punk basic or something, maybe, you know, because they did fast track that Cody Rhodes. I could see them fast tracking an old CM Punk mold and slapping some decals on it. So I don't know. We'll see about that. That's my only prediction for basics. But let's shut the hell up and dive into my official predictions for WWE World, man. Let's start off with the Elite figures. Now, we do know that WWE Elite 108 is shipping. Hopefully, mine will arrive today so we can get those reviews in there. From Ringside Collectibles, of course, WrestlingFigures.com. Use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% there. So hopefully, my Elite 108 will arrive. But I think that we will also see a Elite 109. I think we're going to at least see some prototypes of those guys. This set does include Seth Rollins, Cody Rhodes. We'll get to see officially what that gear is going to be for Cody. I'm hoping that it's Royal Rumble 2023, but you know, Shinsuke Nakamura is in this wave. It's a pretty loaded wave. I'm actually quite intrigued with this wave. Looking forward to this. We get the new world title with Seth Rollins in Elite Gold form. Looks sweet. Can't wait to see this. I'm hoping that we will see Elite Series 109. Next to Elite Series 109, I think we will see Elite 110. Now, we did see Ringside Collectibles post up Elite 110 for pre-order. We've known about this wave for a while. We've, you know, we talk about it. If you guys don't know, we actually, most of the time, we know about these waves before they're officially announced from Mattel, given, you know, just different sources and things of that nature. So if that sounds good to you, be sure to stick around, hit the subscribe button, and turn on your bell because we're constantly putting up news and different, you know, teasers and leaks and different crazy stuff with WWE Mattel action figures and collecting in terms of wrestling action figures. But Elite 110 I expect to see as well, man. I'm so intrigued to see what this Roman Reigns looks like in this wave. Pretty decent wave here, you know, I, I'm most looking for, we know that Rhea Ripley's in there, which looks beautiful, Pete Dunn's in there, which looks beautiful, he's also the chase, and this set again is up for pre-order, Ringside Collectibles posted that up, and we don't know what the figures look like, so I imagine they're gonna be on display so that they can post them up and then add them to the pre-order images so you can go ahead and order them ahead of time, but Elite 110, man, I hope to see a promo gear Roman Reigns with the new Undisputed Championship with the faded tapered beard that I've been waiting on for years, man, I think this is gonna be the event where we see it and I might have to crumble into the floor. So we'll see about that, man. We'll see about that. But Elite 110 is also a set that I do plan on seeing at the show. Now also, Legend Series 22, you know, this set, I imagine should be showing up on Target shelves any day now. This is the set that includes Captain Lou and Hulk Hogan, the Ichiban Hogan. I do think that this set should show up very, very soon. I think they're going to have this on display at WrestleMania and, you know, available at Target now, like a little, you know, little badge on the window there that will say available now. So hopefully that will be the case. But uh, Legend Series Series 22, I definitely expect to see. Pretty loaded wave. I'm excited for this wave a lot. But next to Legend Series 22 is a wave that we just covered yesterday in some details. It was Legend Series 23 featuring 3-Minute Warning, Hulk Hogan, and Big Boss Man here, a version here with the UWF Championship. Very excited for this as well. I think we're going to see these guys on display. Can't wait to see these guys in the full plastic form, of course. And these would probably these are probably going to hit a little bit after, of course, Legend Series 22 because this is Legend Series 23. But I expect both of these waves to be on display at, at WWE World there in Philadelphia. No doubts about that. I really do. Just because we already seen the high-quality images that were shared by 
Steve. So I imagine they're going to have that stuff to go along with that. I don't, you know, if they have high quality images, they're going to have them on display for the most part, at least in my brain. That's what my brain tells me. So we'll see about that. Next up, we have the Monday Night War set. Now we do have Monday Night War series number one already hitting shelves. Don't think that wave will be on display. Now, of course, last year we did see prototypes of these figures. There were the test shots with the gray, you know, scaled out and they revealed the Monday Night Wars line and talked about it and kind of hyped it up. And we finally have that those figures hitting shelves. So it took about a year to see the figures prototypes to actually getting them on store shelves. It took about a year's time comparisons between the shows there. But I think we're going to see Series 2 and Series 3 on display here. So I'm talking Harlem Heat. I'm talking Cursed Rey Mysterio, Kevin Nash. I think we're going to see RVD, that bummerific RVD figure. I, I'm hyped for the RVD, but damn, it, it, there's freaking Johnny Gargano syndrome on the guy. A uh, head sculpt, not that great, but I do love the gear. So we'll see him in there. The Rock with the meme face, you know, all those different things. I think we're going to see Series 2 and 3 of the Monday Night Wars Elites. I would love to see the next set because what's crazy is I know we just got Series 1 in hand, but Series 2 has been known about for a long time. Series 3 has been known about for a long or for a while now, and they already have images of them in the studio. So I imagine that Series 4 has got to be close to being revealed, or at least, you know, they got to have those guys in the working. So I don't know if there's any word on a panel. Maybe we'll get some details of that leading into the week up to WrestleMania. Uh, maybe I can uh, hit up Mattel and see if there's going to be some information on that, but maybe we'll get some more reveals at a, a reveal panel or something like that. But yeah, Monday Night War Series 2 and 3 are most definitely probably going to be on display as well. And then the last bit of elites that I expect to see is going to be a cabinet dedicated to Defining Moments Series number 2. Now we do know that Ringside Collectibles is carrying the Defining Moments line. You know, oh, that's another thing that I just thought about, Ringside Collectibles exclusive wise. I'll talk about that after this right here. Last year we did see the return of the Defining Moments line. They put, you know, it was a complete shock out of nowhere. We got to see Cody and Shawn Michaels and Mankind and Bret Hart. It was an epic box set that they revealed. And ever since then, I've just been hyped on seeing series number two. Who is going to be in wave number two? And they're going to release this Defining Moments four pack once a year. So we did get last year, you got Torn Pet Cody and all that. This year, they're going to have a brand new set out there. And I I think that these are going to go up for pre-order during WrestleMania. That's what my prediction is going to be here. And I'm just hoping to see series two. And I hope it's a good wave. I hope to see everything on full display right there. They reveal it at the event. We get to see all the bells and whistles. I just cannot. This, this is one of the things I'm most looking forward to of the entire week is seeing Divining Moments series number two. So we'll have to see about that. I hope that Stone Cold Steve Austin's in there. I, I That's just what my prediction is or what I hope to see in there. And after that, I don't really care. But that's what my prediction is going to be or at least, you know, what I hope for. I want to see Stone Cold Steve Austin in the Defining Moments series number two. But the last bit of Elites, I, I was, I was going to end it there with the Defining Moments, but I think we're going to see the From the Vault series. I think the From the Vault series will be on display, you know, with all the be you know, all those iconic figures up there, man. So, I think the From the Vault series will also be up there. But, let's move on to our Ultimate Editions. Now, Ultimate Edition Series 21 is the next set that's coming out. Series 20 had Roman, Asuka, and Undertaker. Been on pegs for a while now, a couple months now, and they haven't even revealed Ultimate Edition Series 21, which is going to feature Cody Rhodes, Kevin Owens, and Sami Zayn. I think we're going to see all three of these guys on display, and I, I cannot wait for this, because that Cody Rhodes with that jacket is going to be immaculate from WrestleMania 39. It took a year to do, but I think it's going to be on display there. I cannot wait to see that figure. Finally seeing Kevin Owens, finally seeing Sami Zayn in ultimate form. I cannot wait for it. So I think we will see Ultimate Edition Series 21. And, you know, again, much like Elite 109 and 110, they're going to want to update those graphics or images on ringsidecollectibles.com. So they're going to have those images there so they can put up something to so you'll know what you're ordering. So I think that's what's going to happen there with Ultimate Edition Series 21. And I also hope to see Ultimate Edition Series 22. Now, in Ultimate Edition Series 22, apparently it's going to be John. Cena, Gunther, and Jey Uso. Now we have done multiple videos about this, but I think that the biggest thing here is I, I'm. this is another one of the things that I'm most excited for. If they do show off Ultimate Edition Series 22, one of the things that I'm most excited for is finding out what attire they're doing John Cena in. Is it going to be, you know, the light blue gear from his return not too long ago? Is it going to be a Backlash 2007 like the rumors say? We're going to have to find out, but I hope to God that it is that. You know, we'll have to see about that, but I am very intrigued to see what those figures look like. So, those are probably my two most excited things that I'm looking forward to at WrestleMania or WWE World. So hopefully those will be the things that we see, but you never know. But Ultimate Edition Series 21 and 22, I think we will see on display. Now, also, I, I don't know about Ultimate Edition Series 23. I don't think it's even been leaked out there or talked about for the next set after that, if it has been. 
my mind is completely gone right now. I can't think of it. But I think we're also going to see the Monday Night Wars Ultimates in Eddie and Mankind. You know, we've already seen their updated prototype shots or their, you know, studio shots. So I do think that those figures will be on display. It'll probably be a massive Monday Night Wars cabinet that has Series 2 and Series 3 Elites. And then they'll have the Ultimates in there with them. I think that would be pretty cool to have a Monday Night Wars display. Makes the most sense. It's a very, you know, they'll have a Legends display for all their Target stuff. We'll probably see some new Legends Ultimate Editions there as well. And then they'll have, you know, a Monday Night Wars cabinet that has all their Walmart exclusive stuff. Then they'll have their ringside stuff. And then they'll have their main wave stuff. That's just what my brain tells me. But I could be wrong. You know, I'm just throwing shish out there. Monday Night Wars, Eddie and Mankind are definitely going to be there. And they're going to be on display. I 1000% agree on that one. Another one I could see is Nash and Hall, the ringside exclusive NWO or Outsiders here with Nash and Hall Ultimate Editions. Could definitely see those on display as well. They are ringside collectibles exclusive. All this stuff went up for pre order on ringside collectibles. 110, the two pack with Nash and Hall, the ringside exclusive Ultimate Editions. So I think that, you know, that just kind of just goes hand in hand, man. That makes the most sense, right? That like all that stuff just goes together. It just makes sense that they would have these guys up there, you know, prototype on display, what have you. And I, I expect fully to see Nash and Hall as well. New images of those guys. Can't wait to cover it there. And then I also think that we could see the next series of Monday Night Wars Ultimate. We do know in Series 1 it was Bret Hart and Roddy Piper. Those are starting to hit retail shelves right now. Can't wait to get those. And we also saw Series 2 with Eddie Guerrero and Mankind. So it would make sense to me. Okay, Series 1's already on display or already hitting retail shelves. Series 2 is going to be on display here. And then maybe they will reveal Series 3 to go next to their Elite Series 3 of the Monday Night Wars line. Now, I don't know who that could be. I would really like to see, you know, somebody outside the box or go back to Austin and fix him. You know, fix that skinny molds and all these different things because he would fly off shelves, man. You make a very unique Austin, a really cool, badass Austin here with all the bells and whistles, you know, in the jorts. It's going to fly off shelves. Even if you beef up the original Ultimate Edition, it would fly off shelves as well. So that would be really cool to see Austin in Ultimate form there at WrestleMania for the Monday Night Wars next series of Ultimate Editions. But I don't really care. I just want to see the new, you know, the new set. I'm excited to see the new set of those guys. But the last thing that I really have here for besides just, you know, Legends Ultimate Editions from Target, I think we're going to see the fan takeover Rollins finally. I mean, it's been a year since we learned about it and it has never been revealed, man. They never revealed the poll, but I hope to Jesus in heaven it's not a Shield Seth Rollins. If it's an Ultimate Edition Shield Seth Rollins, man, that's going to be the opposite. You know, I'd be over the moon thrilled if it's a Elite 110 faded tapered Roman beard head sculpt that I've been praying for for years. If it's the, uh, that, the opposite equivalent of that. You do a 180, that would be my reaction negatively if I see a Shield Ultimate Edition Seth Rollins. So we'll have to see about that. You know, I hope to God. I don't think it's going to be the Shield gear, but I, <laughs> I feel like the Shield gear wins every damn vote. Any vote they do with any figure poll, anything Shield related always wins. It's just ridiculous. Like, who's voting on these things, man? It's going to be the same damn leg mole we've seen 76 times. Pick something else. Nonetheless, man, I think that is all my predictions for WWE World. You know, you got, there's so much here in I don't, again, like I said, at the Mattel Design Center, they were able to show more because of those things, but, you know, I'm hyped for it. I think we're going to see some good stuff. I don't know about CM Punk. I feel like it may be a bit early. They may show off a prototype of a CM Punk. I could see them doing a test shot, similar to Monday Night Wars Series 1. I could see them doing maybe a test shot of the CM Punk or something very early of CM Punk or maybe a teaser of the LWO 5-pack or, you know, these different things. There's so many damn figures, man. Mattel pumps out a shish ton of figures, and and just think about all the figures that they showed off last year, and then think about all the figures that are that we that we haven't seen yet that are up in the air that we know about. There's so much, so much stuff coming. So very exciting stuff nonetheless, man. But I think that's gonna wrap up my video for my predictions or what I expect to see at WWE World at WrestleMania 40, man. Again, if you're heading out there, please talk to me. Let me know down below, man. I would love to know what your guys are doing for WrestleMania weekend. I'm still trying to get tickets to the show itself. I'm literally going up there. I'm just going up there for the figures and the camaraderie, and then if I end up getting tickets to WrestleMania, I do. I'm planning on it. I'm trying to, but you know what, Brad? You got to risk it to get the biscuit, and we're going to do it for the channel and get all the figure reveals, man. But huge shout-out to our Patreon members of the EMDT YouTube channel, man. I appreciate all you guys over there. You guys are absolute beasts. Thank you guys so very much for all that you do for me, man. I'm getting out of here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your predictions and thoughts down below. Do you think I'm pretty accurate in my assessment? Or do you think that, you know, maybe we're missing some stuff? I don't know. Let me know, guys. I'm getting the hell out. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.